our viewers need a little advice on how to handle some tricky situations. So it's time for our series. Hoda and Jenna Social Dilemmas. Here's the first one. Okay, so here's the first one. My bestie Megan has been fighting a stomach bug all week. I'm having an open house holiday party tomorrow. Megan swears she'll be better by then, but am I wrong to ask her to stay home? Oof. We're not germaphobes. This is a hard question for us. Because here's the thing. If Megan is better, she's probably no longer contagious. Now, I'm not a doctor, so that's why I said the word probably. <laughs> okay? I don't know. But um, is it just a stomach bug? Ooh, like, I, I want to know. Gonna... I don't know. Oh, wait, I don't are know. you a germaphobe? No, I'm not, but I do why think are you digging that into if the someone, like, it sounds like this, I mean, if one of your friends is always not feeling well, then you'll be like, okay, look, just when you feel better, come. Yeah. But if she has some concerns about it and it was kind of a massive stomach bug, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Say, Tell I'm Megan not to sure. Stay home? I, well, I don't or know. Megan. Just say, you know what? She's been sick. Now she's better. <laughs> you're only contagious, according to some doctors. <laughs> the first couple of days. For, yeah, when you're when you feel ill. That's what I heard. I don't know. Okay. So, well, maybe so maybe doctor. her friend, maybe the one who wrote in is the germaphobe, and she just doesn't want it. Want yeah. that in there. Well, but by the way, sometimes when when people are like, you know, I mean, that guy was coughing on me. I'm like, yeah, and you could get it on the subway, and you could get it from your kids. I agree. And you could. Get but if it's going to ruin the party thrower's vibe. vibe, because you're always like, oh, gosh, she's getting everyone's... I don't know. I don't know. Are you a germaphobe? No, I'm actually not. I I'm the opposite. I, I mean, know. I'm like, go to Sneeze school, on me. go to work, don't worry, did you wash your hands, kind of, you're fine. Yeah. Like, I'm not so worried about all okay. that stuff. Okay, all right. So the next one, <sighs> um, that didn't help at all. No, nah, we'll sorry. try this one. <laughs> we'll My that. niece Annie got engaged in August. I sent a gift to the couple in September. I haven't heard anything from them. No thank you, no note. I tracked the gift, and I know they received it. I will see them for the first time on Thanksgiving. Can I ask them if they like their gift, or do I just let it go? It's a tough one not to ask because... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Wow, that was like a real. Oh, that was. I've never seen you sneeze on TV in my life. <laughs> no, in of all that, of the with years, with that like emphasis too. Wow, I, mean, I saw it coming too. I know. <laughs> Here, you can have my water. <laughs> uh oh, do I have to stay home from your holiday no, party you're now? All good. Oh okay. my god. So, what should she do about the gift? Remember. <laughs> I think that I, she, I don't think you should ask about it. Your job is to give. That's it. Once you've given the gift, it's like yes. anything you give. And also, that's it. Stop waiting for a thank you. They're, they probably have one coming your way. <laughs> but remember when I gave you a birthday present? I said, did you get it? Remember? Was that yesterday? Whenever it was. And you were like, where? Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, I but did I ask. haven't seen it yet. I know, but I did ask. And that but was I not... would have texted you once I <laughs> well, that's organized what you my life. Okay. I did. I texted you last night. Do you want a thank you note? No, I don't. No, I, no. I'll but write you a thank I, you note. But I'll sometimes write you if, you give someone, if you give someone something. like And I, I also received your flowers. Oh. But I texted you that last night. Did <laughs> okay. you receive it? Yes, I did. Okay, here's the last one. Now we're all scared. Jake and I have been dating for over two years. Whether we're with his hometown bros, well, when we're with his hometown bros he acts differently more macho more tough guy Oof. i feel like he forgets i'm there we're going back there for thanksgiving what's the best way to navigate before it happens again <laughs> i say bye jake yeah yeah you don't want somebody it's that over. forgets you're there acts macho and tough and if you have to explain like hey by the way maybe Pay you don't realize this but when you go home you're back in your high school days and you make me feel like i'm an electron circling around Oof. I mean, you could try that if you really love him and then see if he changes his behavior. Yeah, I would try that. Good try call. It. Good call, because why not if you really do love him? But also, the, the part that kind of broke my heart is he doesn't notice I'm there. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right, if you have a social dilemma and you want some really lousy advice, <laughs> tell us about it at hodaandjenna.com. Hit the connect button.